Um, yeah, I noticed that whenever the weather forecast, BBC especially, says there is a storm, oh, we will expect this amount or that amount of record breaking rain, never actually materializes. But it makes you feel, if you are retired or anything, that you, you're completely safe. You're cozy sitting in your home, feeling that, oh, I'm so happy that BBC is in charge. The weather outside, yeah, causing chaos, and I'm warm and snug inside. But actually, look at it. This is the storm they were predicting. Sometimes a few drizzles, but no rain or storm to the amount that the BBC predicted. Okay, so should you trust them? It's up to you. Uh, what I'm talking to them about now is the Apple variety topaz because I've noticed some changes in them. Some flush of red. Beautiful. And this is the tree I bought from the keeper's nursery. It's a good balanced tree actually. I'm really impressed. The trees I bought from the Blackmore nursery were not as anything as good as this. I mean, they were spaliers, first of all. They give fruit in the first year, but in the second year may not be as good, though they give too much. But the tree is too small. And also it's M27. But look at this topaz. This is an M26, I think. Uh, rootstock. I'm talking these M's reference to rootstocks. And look at a well balanced tree. I trimmed it actually, I pruned it in the winter. I wish I didn't, but anyway, it was right. And look at it, how balanced is the tree. And what a good amount of fruits it has. And the fruits gradually come into to change color from the greens that they were. Topaz is actually a uh, eating apple from the Czech Republic is a kind of late apple, mid to late apple, and I'm really impressed with the way it is. Keeper's Nursery number one for me for fruit trees. The catalog is a definitely the, the, the must look at because uh, you cannot find. Uh, anything better than that in any book, any other internet source. Whenever I want to know about uh, any fruit tree, I go to Keeper's Nursery.